What's going on, Agent Nation? My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. For our first story of the day, you might have caught NBA 2K's live stream. They've never really done anything like that before. They went live on their YouTube channel, and uh, they said they had a special announcement. And the special announcement was basically that Giannis was a cover athlete. But if you watched one of these uh, fake bootleg John Alert videos I did a couple weeks ago, you would have already known that because there was a lot of rumors and leaked images going around and and I had, I had some verifiable sources tell me Giannis is on the cover so uh, we knew that already it kind of spoiled the surprise but at the end of that live stream they came out with a little bit of information they dropped a screenshot of Giannis in NBA 2k19 which means that's our first look into the game now take a look at the picture man it's just a guy that's he's sweating a lot like he seems to be sweating a decent amount and I know for a fact that if he was in this room in this sunroom with no air conditioning that Giannis making this specific video would be sweating more than me. So that's all I needed to know. So you can expect over the next few weeks for NBA 2K to come out with some screenshots of your favorite NBA 2K player. And then like a month, maybe a month and a half from now, they'll start to drop trailers with like a hint of gameplay. But it's not like 5v5 gameplay. It's kind of like them panning around, like trying to make it look super cool. And then two months from now, when we're getting really close to the game's launch, you guys can expect to see 2K might pull up at Gamescom. I doubt they'll pull up to PAX West. So you probably won't see any gameplay there, but you will see a gameplay trailer. So that's usually how they do things. They've done it for like the last four years. So don't be surprised if they don't come out with actual gameplay for another couple months. For our next story of the day, how closely do you follow the NBA 2K League? Because they're doing something interesting. Uh, for the first time in the league, they're actually patching the league build. So we haven't seen any patches in 2K18 for a while, but they're patching the league build. Now, if you've watched the 2K league, you know a lot of what it is is like the shooting is incredibly difficult. So a lot of teams just dump it into their center and paint mash and try and spread the floor and just pump fake and then go up for a dunk. That's what happens a lot, a lot, a lot. But there's a lot of changes that happen and I heard from a few people that they made a lot more changes than what they described, but these are the changes we know of so far. I put out this tweet describing the changes. It said, NBA 2K League patch, rim protectors are less efficient because everybody was using rim protectors. Rim protectors had the best dunking animations of all of the builds in the NBA 2K League. Pure Sharps have less ball handling. It was already incredibly low. Pure Sharps have nerfed layups, dunks, contested shots. Free throws are more difficult, and there's a shooting buff across the board. I guess the purpose of this was they wanted people in teams to have more than one way to win. A lot of those changes I disagree with. I don't know who's making these decisions or whether they even play 2K. I also don't understand why they continue to nerf sharpshooters. Like, the sharpshooters in the NBA 2K League do not have glitched animations, right? And I played on the league build, and it was incredibly difficult to dribble around. They were setting double teams on me, and every bump meant I was losing the ball. So I don't know what the point of nerfing the ball handling on sharpshooters is. I don't know, we'll see how it plays out. I'm a little bit skeptical, but I hope they have people in there making the right decisions. I'll be watching this week. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, uh, NBA 2K almost released 2K18, let it crash and burn, and now they're trying to like give CPR to it and bring it back to life, interestingly enough, because they've been coming out with a suite of content for my team. If you've played my team, you know there's been a Tim Duncan, a Pink Diamond Tim Duncan that dropped yesterday, and it was, it was available for like 10 minutes, and then they dropped another batch of them. And so if you do play the game mode, there's no way you didn't get the card unless you were trying not to get it. You literally had all the time in the world. You know, on top of that, they for July the 4th, they usually do it for like holidays. They dropped the double XP on the park. And you know me, I don't really care about double XP or nothing, but a lot of people were excited and hyped about it. And they had me asking one question, why didn't we get one for Canada Day? Does Canada Day not matter to 2K? <laughs> I felt offended, man. Also, they need to change the progression system for next year. This year is pretty booty butt cheeks. It seems like the 2K community is kind of bouncing back. A lot of figures that left or maybe did other games because they lost interest are slowly coming back. Like, yo, or maybe like on the, on the edge right here just looking in like, yo, what's 2K19 gonna be like? So we all got hopes, of course. I'm trying not to, you know, get my expectations too high because that's just a, a recipe to get let down. But uh, I'm, I'm slowly getting more and more excited for 2K19. It can't possibly be as boring and dry as 2K18. So that we know, right? It can't be worse than that. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been following the drama, you know that Los Polos and Cash Nasty have been going at it. Los Polos even dropped a, a diss track 
back on Cash Nasty, but that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is that I think I may have been at the core of all of this. Now, I don't have anything to do with their beef per se, but if you remember a couple weeks ago, I hopped in team up and I did a video trolling Cash. If you missed it, it was priceless. Troy Dan was wilding out, Cash Nasty was furious. It was so much emotion. And in that video, I said that I failed that troll because I didn't get Cash as angry as I thought he was gonna get. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to amend my previous statements. That troll was a massive W because that game I played with Cash against Los Polos was the game that started this whole torpedo that's resulted in the diss track. After that game, Cash went into Los Polos lobby after losing for the third time in a row and he went off, he was calling Los Polos a bitch, he said you're my bitch and they were going at it, they were furious at each other. That kind of just escalated to the point where Los Polos dropped a diss track, a diss track in which at one at one point, he was taking shots at Cash in the most fantastic way. It was like, this was professionally written. This was not a YouTuber writing this. Some, he, he, paid, he must have paid someone to write this, because it was so well written. In fact, yo, let's react to the thing right now. Yo, I'm sweating because I'm in a sunroom with no air conditioning and, and whatever, y'all can leave your comments. Ladies and gentlemen, Los Polos had this professionally written. If he didn't, and he has proof that he wrote this himself, that is so much like respect, because it was fantastically written, and he got the Duppy verse going, I and mean, the Duppy freestyle. I see you, I see you. Now you wanna diss me, but you really know you don't want none of this beef. I get more viewers than you in our stream. The flow is decent. Now you barely get three. Nothing left to cash, that's that he's dead to me. But I'm still sending shots, ain't no resting in peace. I've been looking at your views, yeah, I'm dead, I'm asleep. How you really from the swamp, but you claim in the streets? Ah, Got ah, a bone ah. head where I'm aiming the beam. You're depressed, <laughs> taking out all your anger on me. Now you angering me. Now it's time to get it right, 90 angle degree. Your whole life fell apart and you blamed it on me. Yeah. Don't push me when I'm in album mode. You're not even top five as far as too hype talent goes. Oh, your shit born like where the passion goes. Six pack by the summer, I'm eating salad bowls. We was brothers, there was peace in the this air. This is nice. Trying to reignite your youth, you put a streak in your hair. You're falling off and you're the only one that's keeping you there. I think that you know you're passing up your peak and you're scared. In LA, <laughs> eating escargot. You a bomb eating shit off the side of the road. Remember when you called me scared when it was time to play so? And told me you were so relieved when that man didn't show. Because he getting old. He want me to see his message, so he getting bold. This man can never find a balance like he missing toes. Now this He's not holding back, man. Cold. Don't make me expose. I was your brother, now you saying that I'm cloud chasing. Watch your mouth when you're making all these wild statements. I just saved up your career from being outdated. I sent an invoice to you, I need a down payment. That's nice, yo. I know he took that Drake flow, but he kind of had to. It was, it was a Drake, it was a Drake produced. I'm sure he didn't prove. You get what I mean, all right? So, hey, shut up! It was nice, that's all I'm trying to say, bro. Bro, when I saw that drop, I knew for a certain fact that, that that troll that I did on Cash, that kind of began all of this, because his, his eruption on Los was after his third loss, which I was a part of, I was like, yo, did I have something to do with this? Yo, that's a W right there, which means that, including Swante, Cash Nasty, and Hank the Tank, I am now 3 for 0 in my trolls. Uh, I told Cash I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> I don't think I could be trusted anymore, but that was fantastic. It makes for good content. Shout out to Los Polos, man. That was really entertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot make this stuff up. It's been 2K Drama Alert. If you guys enjoyed, you can watch some more of the Drama Alerts. If you missed them, there's a whole series right here or a random video if you're interested. The title might be interesting. I'm fantastic with my titles. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Drop a like if you haven't already. Put on them post notifications. I'm out. Peace.